My name is Bill Peterson. I'm from Edwardsville, Illinois, and this will be my 15th finish at Ironman Lake Placid. My name is Brian Delaney. I own High Peak Cyclery in Lake Placid, and I'll be competing in my 16th Ironman Lake Placid. My name is Woody Fries. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm here doing my 16th Ironman Lake Placid. My name is Larry Lewis. I'm here to do my 15th uh, Ironman Lake Placid from Brooklyn, New York. The first time we did it was because it was the first race in the U.S., so we all signed up for that reason. We showed up not knowing what to expect, and I don't think the Anirondacks knew what to expect from us. I'm extremely proud that Lake Placid is one of the original Ironman events. When you have a world-class Ironman event in your back door, it keeps you fit year-round, and it's kind of fun just to do it. That's what kept me motivated. At Lake Placid, it's more of how can we rev up the crowd? How can we get them so energized and juiced up as to who are these two guys? They're having far too much fun to be doing an Ironman race out there. In 2009, when Larry didn't race, uh, most people don't know this, but unfortunately, Larry's wife, Kathleen, uh, had passed away July 23rd. Yeah, yeah. A few days beforehand um, from a long term illness. And mm -hmm. uh, that race I dedicated to Larry and to Kathleen because it was truly a sad moment to be here without him and Kathleen. And later in that year, in 2009, we were racing up in the Montreal the Esprit. And Woody presented me with his 2009 Lake Placid Ironman medal. And when he first presented it to me, I said, I couldn't accept that but I knew it was coming from his heart and that was a special moment and I walked away and accepted it. When you're on your run and you're coming up from Main Street and making the right hand turn on Mirror Lake Drive for that last lap, you feel literally like it's the world championship. You feel like you're an Olympian. You feel a lot of pride in what's going on. The finish line is unique. When you come back in that track and you come around and the crowd's there and Mike Riley's got the crowd all excited, it's kind of special, unique, and it finishes the race the right way it should. So it's special. As long as I'm healthy and I'm not gonna injure anything, I'll keep doing it. You know, it's just such a great event. We love it. It's great to be a part of it. I know I got at least two more because my son-in-law wants to do it in 2016. So I'm coming back next year and I'm coming back 2016 and you know, with my grandson, if I'm still doing it, you know, I may be back when I'm 78, he's 18, and I'll do it with my grandson. I'm not sure what else I would do on the last Sunday in July. It's, it's been ongoing for so long. I could tell you what we would do. Even if Iron Man was not here, the last Sunday of July, I'd be calling Woody and say, hey, let's go. Let's just do it on our own. we get a few uh, gel packs, water bottles, and, you know, cover the distance and say, chalk up another Iron Man distance race. <laughs>